Shalom. Welcome back to Code Searcher. <laughs> Guess what I got to do, guys? I got to correct myself on something. Um, I got an email. Well, Darla got an email today from Sister Colleen, who was um, checking some of my grammar on some of my, uh, my tables, which I encourage you guys to do, because sometimes I can make a mistake. This is a really good example of that. And so I want to just take this time to uh, acknowledge that Coach Archer is wrong in, a, in an instance, and he's correcting himself. I want you to take a look right down here where we have the gathering. Uh, this is a reconstruction of another table I worked on a, a few years ago. So I decided to redo it and ended up making an a impromptu video at, in the process of doing that. But working late at night, I made a mistake in that word, which was supposed to be a sof. I used a shin instead of a summit. And so I got a completely different word. This is not the gathering. It's another completely different word. And I was so, you know, tired and wasn't, you know, as sharp as I should be. It completely slipped me, uh, you know, going from my own vocabulary and just sounding words out. I inserted a shin instead of a summit, and that is completely correct, incorrect. So, um, thank you, Colleen, for pointing that out. Now, the other words, and she sent me this, which was really hard to see. It was a printout of another, I think it's another version of this. But you see, it's, it's, it's bled out, so I, my ink is running out, so it wasn't really clear for me to see. But I do see on this side of it the word rapture is there, which is the word shalob. And she brought up an interesting point that when she put it in the translator, uh, it, it's not what we think of as rapture. And I knew that already. I've said that. It doesn't mean what you think in Hebrew uh, as what we believe uh, in English. It's a complete different meaning. The word rapture in Hebrew means something else than what we think it does. Uh, there is no word rapture or, or the, the equivalent of that uh, in, in pertaining to, you know, being translated out. There's no, there's no, uh, that, that word is not rapture. That's an English word we look for in Hebrew. It's called shalob, which has a different meaning. It's, it's, it means it, to be ecstatic, uh, to be aflame, to be on fire. Uh, that, that's generally um, the meaning of it. That's why I've been saying we, we can't depend on that. We have to look at the Jewish idioms, the a harvest. And so I was looking for a sob. And even in doing that, I made a mistake. So I'm not beyond mistakes. I want to be clear. I'm not perfect. And I do make mistakes. For the most part, uh, the information is right. And there, there be, may be times where I'm tired and I may misspell something. It happens. Uh, it usually happens to when you first starting looking for codes, you may, you know, use a, a letter is not what you think it is. Like a dollar in a resh looks very similar, uh, but they're not the same letter. Uh, Chris knows what I'm talking about. You can get yourself into some trouble misspelling words. Now, um, that is not gathering. It is not a soft. So let's be clear. That is the date down there, but that is a completely random word that's connected here that I thought was a soft. Uh, so now... Please, Lewis, go and change this out. Com completely uh, pull this or maybe just because I'm going to redo this table in video. And on the video that I put out, I'm going to have to put uh, some sort of noting right there. That, that is not a soft. Now, the other word stand. It is curated in blood. It is Israel and is the land. Uh, but the, the, a soft, that is not a soft. The only place a soft appears. And let me just pull that up because I went back and looked. Now, you see, I, I pulled out the what I thought was a soft and left um, what is what is true. Uh, a soft does appear one time in this particular table, and it's up at the top at a skip of 21. You can see the summit there it is not a shin. I apologize, guys. I was tired when I, when I did that, and uh, I probably shouldn't have done a video when I was tired. I made a mistake, and I hate that. Um, I don't like making mistakes, but when I do, I'll be a man and man up and say I made a mistake. And I'll come back and correct it. Uh, a soft does appear up here with the Jubilee and the Shemitah. We have a Shemitah and Shemitah here. And then we have Zophan right under that, which is hidden. 
uh, <clears throat> she brought up and Colleen, Sister Colleen brought up, and I think it was up here, up at the top, uh, the end of days. In the end of days, <clears throat> um, Lewis has, and, and sometimes it's, it's, it's not my mistake, but sometimes Lewis uh, maybe misheard what I said and he'll put down a different word in English. But when we catch that, folks, we will fix it, okay? Now, I want to go to this right here, which she's, Lewis has down here in the end of days. Now, it, I know automatically it's a partial from a verse that I hi highlighted because I thought it was relevant to the context of the 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 actual t code table here. So let's click on it and go to it. And you can see it's a parcel of um, Daniel 1.18. And, and, and as you can see here, um, now at the end of days is, and so he has in the end of days, which is, you know, slightly different, but uh, when someone points something like that out, I want to make sure I cross my T's and dot my I's. I do not want to be wrong. So thank you, Colleen, for pointing that out. Uh, um, so we are corrected now. My apologies to the YouTube com uh, community. Folks, we will be broadcasting again tonight on YouTube right here. So please be with us. We're thinking maybe 8.30 uh, Mountain Time is when we get started. Uh, uh, I know some of you are... are you know, in bed by that time because uh, you're somewhere else in the world. But uh, we're going to try to stick with the general, you know, eight eight thirty Mountain Time for for Saturday night. So uh, that's what we'll be right here tonight, guys. So be blessed in the rest of your day. Shalom, and Yeshua be with you.